In this tutorial, we're going to talk about Sokatoa, which means we're going to talk about the trigonometric ratios sine, cosine, and tangent in a right angle triangle. Now, for this, we're going to start out by drawing up a right angle triangle. Here we are, the triangle ABC with the right angle A and the two acute angles B and C. Now, the trigonometric ratios connect the measures of the angles with the lengths of the sides of the triangle. And by that, I mean the measures of the acute angles within the right angle triangle. So when we'll be doing sine, cosine or tangent, we'll be working with either the angle B or the angle C, the two acute angles inside the rectangular triangle. Whenever one of our angles becomes the subject, the sides positioned around it become either the adjacent opposite and the only constant is the hypotenuse. As we know, the hypotenuse is the side opposite to the right angle. Now, if we were to say B is the angle that we know and that we'll be working with, then the side next to it will be the adjacent side. And the other one, the side opposed to it, will be the opposite side. So for angle B, AC is the opposite, AB is the adjacent, and BC will be the hypotenuse. BC, as I said, is the hypotenuse because it is opposite the right angle. Now, Sokatoa is a mnemonic trick that we use in order to remember what ratios stand for what. The first letter in Sokatoa is S and it stands for the ratio sine. The sine of B, for instance, will be the opposite over the hypotenuse, thus the OH. So sine of B is the opposite over the hypotenuse. The next one is C. C stands for cosine. Cosine of B will be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. And finally, we have T, which stands for tangent. And the tangent of the angle B is its opposite over the adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. And that's what the meaning of Sokatoa is. We use either sine, cosine, or tangent depending on the data that we have and where we want to get to. Let's take an example. In this situation, we have a right angle triangle where we know one of the acute angles, 25 degrees, and the hypotenuse, the side opposite the 90 degree angle. And in this situation, we want to find the value of x. In order to choose correctly between sine, cosine, or tangent, we need to know what the expected outcome is. We want to find x, and x is the opposite side to this angle, so we will be using an opposite. We know the hypotenuse, so then we will be using opposite over hypotenuse. If we know that we're using opposite over hypotenuse, then we know that we're using the sine. So sine of 25 degrees will be equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. This then becomes the sine of 25 degrees for which we use our scientific calculators and we get 0.4226 which is equal to the opposite which is our x over the hypotenuse which is 10. So then x will be equal to 0.4464226 times 10 which is equal to 4.226 centimeters and we found the value the length of the opposite side let's take another example in this situation we have a right angle triangle where we know the angle 63 degrees 
the side adjacent to it and we need to find the opposite. So we need a ratio that uses the opposite and the adjacent and that ratio is the tangent. So we'll be using the tangent of 63 degrees. Then we get to the tangent of 63 degrees for which again we use the calculator 1.962 which is equal to the opposite which we do not know over the adjacent which is 6 centimeters so then x will be equal to 1.962 times 6 which will be equal to 11.77 centimeters correct to two decimal places so this is how we correctly use Sokatoa in a right angle triangle. This is the very basic of uh, trigonometry. We can also use Sokatoa to determine angles, not just the lengths of the sides, also the measures of the angles. But we will do this in the next lesson.